Yo, what's happening YouTube Jugger here? Welcome back to another video. Man, it feels so good to be back. It's been forever, what feels like an eternity. It feels so good to be here on my channel to support you guys again. Almost eight months was my last upload, my last stream. And now I'm back committed to you guys for another year. Plus, as we continue to go and start a new era on the Evil X Jug YouTube channel, and we are going to be featuring this game right here you guys are looking at in the background, Diablo 4. Now, I've been working extremely hard planning this game out to bring you guys the very best content and modifications and handcrafted items to enhance your gameplay when it comes to Diablo 4. Now, there's a reason why I chose this game and this game to actually return. So, this is my introduction video before we actually kick things off. For my seasons here in Diablo 4, I know they have their season 1 coming out here shortly. But you guys know that when Jug does his thing, he has his own seasons going along with the game as well. So, I'm always here to hype things up and make things more fun for your gaming experience. And Diablo 4 is a very special game. Now, before I continue, just want to give a shout out to DPJ and GQ. You guys know my friends Queen and DPJ. They're always supporting me and what I do. I just love those guys. To the fullest now there's a reason why i'm mentioning dpj is because just like him this is his first diablo game and this is my first diablo game and i didn't know what to expect so with fresh eyes i see this game in a totally different light okay statistically speaking this game just came out little over four and a half weeks ago i was actually on vacation in the middle of the atlantic ocean on my very first cruise now i did want to come back sooner and play this game but it actually interrupted my schedule with my timing in my life okay so i had a late start playing this game and it was mid month i actually started grinding this game spending 12 to 14 16 hours a day grinding this game preparation and just getting everything ready from the PlayStation, the Xbox, the PC, buying the game for every single one of those consoles, setting everything up, getting my nephews as we're about to turn this game up to another level and enhance your fun in Diablo 4. I still haven't talked to you guys why I chose Diablo 4 and why this game is so special to my heart, especially being the very first time playing a Diablo game. Now, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. What I actually expected for this game was totally different than what I could actually do in this game. And I'm actually going to speak about that as well. But first and foremost, I just want to say that this be my first Diablo game. Hopefully, you guys are there playing it. Maybe you're a Diablo longtime fan. But this is my first time actually entering the Diablo community. Thinking it was something like the Borderlands community. Grinding for loot, you know, to continue the storyline and destroy all the monsters and the bosses and the raids and... Just learning everything about the dungeons. This game is a lot to it. There's a lot to it. And it's a highly addictive game. Um, I didn't think that I was going to get so addictive to this game. But this game is absolutely phenomenal. And when I watched the trailers back then. You know a couple of months ago. When there was advertising the game. The trailer I was already hooked. Because the storyline. I'm going to get into that you know as well. Why this game was so special to me. In the campaign and the storyline. Just from the trailers. But actually just seeing the characters you can pick. I was like hey this is like a Borderlands game. You know there's like six different characters. You know like Maya, Lilith. You know um, Brick. You know there's different characters in this game. That you can choose from. There's a skill tree. You can go down the tree to the capstones. And you can you know just like. It's similar. So similar to Borderlands. That, that's why it got me hooked. But I actually love this game so much more than that. And I want to just share a comparison. Of why it's like just so amazing now nothing will ever take my heart away from borderlands and lilith you know me and lilith has been grinding since my military days i'm talking about decades ago so it's been a long time coming so it's really hard for me to you know describe the feeling of playing diablo 4 but it's also even easier for me to explain it to you guys because you guys are my borderlands family so what i mean by that is hard to describe because nothing, you know, can take me away from the storyline of Borderlands and Lilith and the Firehawk and everything we've been through up to Borderlands 3, waiting for Borderlands 4 to see if we can resurrect her, 
you know, we was hoping for that in Wonderlands, but that didn't happen. Nevertheless, that's a different story to talk about. So we're waiting for Borderlands for, for that storyline to continue. Hopefully, we can actually get back. Hopefully, Maya and Lilith. Well, it's also easy for me to explain to you guys about Diablo 4 because guess what? This is, just think about this game as like a spin-off, a multiverse like Marvel. This game, Diablo 4, has Sanctuary as well, like Borderlands 3, Borderlands, um, you know, where Scooter used to be, you know, rest in peace, Scooter. Um, there's Lilith in Diablo 4 as well. So we have the good Lilith in Borderlands, and we have the evil Lilith <laughs> in Diablo 4. So it was an easy transition to um, for me because we also have Sanctuary in Diablo 4, but it's a totally different experience. Just think about Diablo 4 as a spinoff from Borderlands, but not the good part, you know, like the evil part. You know, Borderlands is, is fun of like rainbows, colors, you know, butt styling and glitter, everything, you know, what makes Borderlands, you know, sparkle. But here in Diablo 4 is the complete opposite. We have blood, gore. We have Lilith as well, but she's evil. We have Sanctuary as well, which is Earth. So it's, it's just it's just totally different, but at the same time, this storyline captivates me because it's being told like the Bible. I will make a different video on that here shortly in the coming days. This is a gradual, you know, pickup for the shop to reopen. I want to have the shop reopen by next week, Friday or Saturday for you guys. But I want to make like five, six videos before then to let you guys know where I'm going with this. And um, and this game Diablo 4 actually drew me in. Easily and quickly from the love of Borderlands, just a spin-off, so it actually captivated me in the essence of being dark and gritty and you know just just this uh oh, just just this blood and this gore and this ore and lore. <laughs> and it's just absolutely phenomenal how amazing this storyline is. You know, and I cannot wait to tell you guys about it and you know experience it, you know, through my eyes and what I've seen, comparing it to references from the Bible, because yes, there's God in here. There's, you know, Jesus Christ, there's the devil, there's the light, which is the holiness, there's, you know, the Haradrons, which is the Christians, Sanctuary, which is Earth. So I cannot wait to explain it to you guys in the way that is being so, so told. And, you know, the cutscenes, I will use some of that to reference, you know, what's happening because it's a battle between Purgatory, Sanctuary, which is Earth, you know, from, you know, from the Most High, from the beginning of Adam and Eve. Now it's not Adam and Eve, it's actually Lilith and Anarius. So there's just so much to, you know, tell you guys about what's actually happening and how we're supposed to be like vault hunters, but we're supposed to come in to save the world from this evil and the devil. And, you know, it's just, it's a lot and it just, it's just absolutely action packed, fast paced gaming. And it's a lot of loot and there's so much to do in this game. Now this end game, you know, one to 50, you go through the campaign, but after that, the end game is so powerful. This is the strongest end game I've ever seen, including all of Destiny. Now, if you're a Destiny player, you're like, what? Yes, that is insane. The end game in Diablo 4 itself is so much to do, and there's so much loot to chase, and there's actually these things called uniques. Now, you guys know how I made my handcrafted items for Borderlands and Wonderlands. Well, there's actually unique items in this game that has a lottery chance of dropping and there's six of them. I'm talking about point zero 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 one percent Now, there's actually uniques in this game, which actually just dropped for me. And when you guys actually shop in my shop, I will actually give you guys a chance to get these uniques. Um, I'm going to pop up right here so you guys can see what a unique look like. But this is a uh, unique for my character. Now, there's six universal uniques that works for all characters that everyone is chasing. It is the most hype thing I've ever seen in a video game when it comes to chasing loot to make your character that much more powerful. And again, that will be a separate video on why you should care about these uniques. And this is what it looks like right here. I already have a much more powerful version, but this one actually dropped for me. And sometimes they don't even drop for players that spend millions and millions of hours just farming this game. But you rock with me and I will get you what you need. And again, more on that later when I actually reopen the shop and get closer to uh, making these videos so you guys can understand where I'm taking this game and what we can actually do with it. Now, in the beginning of the video, I told you guys it's not all sunshine and rainbows, right? So before this game actually came out, I was studying it, watching all the videos. There's so much videos that I've watched while on the cruise 
Now, I didn't understand what the heck was happening. There was a lot of reading. There was a lot of things to go through from everyone in the YouTube community. I watched every single Diablo 4 video from everyone in the YouTube community, even till today, because I'm still trying to understand this game. But I've had that much more experience and knowledge that I am 98% sure of everything that I know at this point in time, which is a lot. Trust me, it's a lot. So, um, like I said, it's not all sunshine and rainbow. So when I was doing my research on this game, I thought that I could modify my handcrafted items for you guys to that much more, make your character that much more powerful. So you can go out there and have so much more fun with my items. But this game is server sided. So there's no offline mode and there's no offline saves. So, Without that ability, we cannot do anything when it comes to modifying this game or making handcrafted loot. But I will have all the services that you will need if you play Diablo 4 because getting to level 100 and getting these uniques, there is not so easy. Trust me, you have to hit a certain tier. There's just a whole bunch of schematics that you need to do before you have a chance of getting this. And I'll make it that much more easier for you guys with my services. And there's a lot to this game, like I said. And I cannot wait to share with you guys more. And also, season one for this game kicks off like in 11 days, 10 days from now. You have to make a brand new character to go through the season. So that's why you will need my services as well. Because in order to access the content, they will, they're forcing you to make a new character in order to progress or start back over. It is just totally insane. So again, there's so much more to this game, but it's so much more fun. And I cannot wait to showcase so much to you guys because it's a lot. And hopefully, hopefully you guys digest everything I've said within this video and you know we'll be back with another one but this is the kickoff and an introduction back to being back so thank you guys so much for having me and until next video remember treat yourself don't cheat yourself i'm jug love you guys to the fullest and i see you here for another one peace i'm out come Open your eyes. Eternal light protects me. Eternal light protects me. Eternal light protects me. Eternal light protects me. Eternal there is no light here. You came to the darkness for knowledge. And all the knowledge you seek is here. Surrender. Speak the words. Call her home. By three, they come. By three, thy way opens. By the blood of the willing, we call thee home. That's it.